Guys, deluded, I'm back again. Now, Dean Parrott, 15 years of age, signed from QPR. Damien Com um, signed from QPR for Spurs, sorry. Damien Comoli, who was employed by Spurs at the time, said this is someone with genuine potential to go to the first team, someone that's been bought to progress and go to the first team. And yeah, and all of them sort of things. He signed after turning down a scholarship from QPR. A couple other teams chased him. He elected to join Spurs, similar to how Bostock did. And what was that lad that joined them from Charlton and it didn't quite work out? So yeah, he was someone that I watched as a, as a young kid, learning my trade, watching players and stuff, and thought he could have a future. I mean, 15, 16 being spoken about at that, to now be 26 of years of age at Gillingham. I think he's been at um, Stevenage and a couple other clubs. It hasn't quite happened for him. Ultimately, he only made four appearances for Spurs. He played in the away for Cup and things like that. And he must have learnt a, a tremendous amount playing under several good players and, and things like that. For instance, he was there when Modric was there. If you ever got to train with the first team, you get to see how Modric is another level. These are experiences you can't buy. But yeah, as a young kid, young young man, he, he was a decent player. He was a central midfielder, a bit like Gerard in my opinion, with his leadership's qualities and his passing range. And, and he was a bit like... He wasn't necessarily a captain, but captain fantastic sort of vibe. He had that. Um, he could play on. He could. He had. He was. He was fairly pacey. He had good technical qualities. Like I said, clearly midfield is better position. But he could play wide right, left or right right. So yeah, man, he was. He he had. He had pace. He was a good passer with technical qualities, and you could say he had that right level of aggression. So you thought with that, with Spurs' pathway even back then. Um, You'd think he would have got he got his got his chance, and it just it quite, it didn't quite happen. I would love to interview him and sit him down and ask him: Does he feel he necessarily? I think I'd be quite good at that. Does he feel he's, he necessarily made the the best or or worst move going to Spurs? Should he stay at QPR, which he, he were quite angry he left? If there is there any other regrets in his footballing career that we don't know about? So yeah, he was someone that I thought was gonna join. That was gonna was gonna. Be be a, a a mad player sort of, and it hasn't quite happened. And these were early lessons I've learned throughout my whole journey, which is why I tell you guys, document, just document. Everybody's good at fifteen, sixteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Everybody's good. The nine times out of ten, them players that are highly rated, they rarely make it. You know, again, I'm exaggerating a bit, but you get the point. So that's why I learned to document. But he's someone that. It's nice to see he's at Gillingham. I know he floated about a bit, and it was a long term coming and stuff. But it is what it is. But it, yeah, man. I do remember tweeting, I actually do remember tweeting, back when I had my old Twitter, I tweeted, oh, what happened to Dean Parrott, he shouldn't have joined Spurs, and his mum actually added my tweet and said, what do you know, fair enough, like, I might not know a damn thing, but I know your son's not going to make it at Spurs, but, um, yeah, man, he was someone that I thought was someone that was decent, like, I took joy watching him, like I, like, like I tell you guys, I'm not lying when I said I used to watch him and Kane and... Um, Obiko was there at them times. There was a couple of players at Spurs. There was, a, there was a couple of decent players at Spurs. Um, couple, and it's a shame that they didn't they didn't get the chance, man. But yeah, he's someone that I hope still still got love for the game. He's obviously happy that he's still in the game at some point. As, um, he's playing for Gillingham in League One. That's I mean, some people are not even in the game. The fact that you're getting paid to play football is a, is success in itself. Maybe this is always how his career was going to happen because we can't always say staying at QPR would have equaled becoming the player that Kamoli and etc. said you could be because he might have went there. Obviously, the height might have not been the same. He might have not been able to replicate his form or whatever's happened. And this is how his career could have panned out the same way. So it's not always it's a thing where stay, it's not always ling a, ling a linear thing or as black and white as if you stayed there, you would now be at this point in your life as a footballer versus you went and done this, now you're there. Do you get what I'm saying, people? There's not much more to say on that front. I just thought, I, I don't know. I just thought, you know what, let me try and... If you guys want me to keep speaking about this, I'll try and think of the players that I've watched in and of previous years and how they ended up now. If you guys want me to, I'll do this. But I was felt compelled to do this one. So, yeah, Dean Parrot, man. I'm out. <laughs> guys, deluded. Get in the comments, subscribe and do the rest if you wish. Like the video and share it up. I'm out.